it's Eileen and Tover Lee, and today I'm going to show you how to create call to action buttons for your augmented reality projects. So let's go to Overly Creative here. I've already created a new project within my workspace, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new marker image. Just a simple photo of a tree for this uh, test, and I also wanted to remind you that a marker image can be any JPEG or PNG image with rich features. You can always read a bit more on our blog on how to create perfect marker images. So once uploaded, on the left hand side you will see functionalities that you can add on top of your marker image. So for this example I'm concentrating on buttons. You will have two options here. Either you select a UI button or user interface button or augmented reality button. If you opt for UI button, the only difference really is that you are not in control of the design. So all you have to do here is enter a hyperlink that you want to link your augmented re reality experience to. So it may be your website or it may be a social media account that you want to promote. And all you have to do really is to hit publish. Once published and once your users scan the experience with the Overly app, they will see a simple button on the left hand side at the bottom of their mobile screen and once they click on it they'll go to the link that you have entered. However, if you wanted to create an experience that has multiple buttons, for example they link to your shop, they link to your website, they link to your social media accounts, augmented reality buttons will be a better option for you. Also augmented reality buttons allow you to be more on brand in case that's more important to you also. So all the difference in terms of augmented reality creator is that you need to choose a design. I've just created a simple button in Photoshop for this, but you can use Paint, Canva, or download the, these types of files from sites like flaticon.com or maybe something on Canva. The, image itself that you create to be a button can be a JPEG or PNG again, but just ensure that the longest size side doesn't exceed 512 pixels. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And again, once you have uploaded the button, you just need to enter a hyperlink that you want to link out to. And that's it. Place it wherever you want, resize it as you wish, and you can hit publish. I will show you at the end of this video how both of these experiences work. So how does an AR button look and how does an UI button look? But please do leave me a comment or a question below if you're still struggling to set up or decide what works best for you. Thank you.